by my main man, the kid Gowie. Gowie, we've got four great teams of some of the best basketball creators in the world taking the court uh, in this tournament. First up, we have Team Aces taking on Team Undrafted. Who do you like in this matchup, Gowie? Oh, see, the thing with me, I already had my mind set before the games even happened. So uh, Team Aces all the way. That's the team I'm rocking with. They have some dogs. They got my man Trey Uno, who just got blocked. Nice block there by Chris London. Okay. Good defense down low. He's six foot ten, tallest guy on the court. Uh, and a good start okay, on defense. Okay, Wilder on the fast break. And Cam Wilder gets the first buckets of the game. Now, how we're playing, it's 15 minutes running clock in this game. The winner of this game will face off in the championship against the winner of our second game, which will be between the Game Changers and the Dark Horse. Or Dark Horse is, I should say. All right, so, so far, you know, these guys, it's a, it's a little bit of jet lag going on. I, I can feel <laughs> the jet lag in the play, but they're definitely going to heat up the more that they shoot, the more that they drive. They're going to get more comfortable, so... To all the fans out there, hey, stay tuned. It's going to be a show, I promise you. Hey, and it's going to move quick here. Each team gets one timeout, but 15 minutes running clock. They're going to have to bring it. They don't have time to waste. Uh, no. You know, obviously, they want to, maybe they're a little cold, find their footing, but uh, they don't have much time to do it. We're already over a minute in. Stray Uno can't get it to go, but Chris Staples cleans up the glass and ties this game up at two. There you go. Chris Staples down low. He's not just a dunker, ladies and gentlemen. The thing with Chris Staples is he can actually shoot from behind the arc as well. So he's one of those guys that you have to look out for all around the court as he just saw, scored inside the paint with that layup. Absolutely. 2-2, uh, two, two, and these teams are playing defense. This is not just an exhibition game where you see highlights nonstop. I mean, these guys want to win $24,000 on the line for the Mambasita Foundation. Oh, yes. Almost a shot clock violation there by Sell. Fast break. Ooh. Ah, a little short there, but they clean up the glass. They're getting the rebounds. And White Iverson, he's my pick for MVP. He gets the bucket to go. We saw him at uh, NBA All-Star Weekend in Cleveland. I think he was the MVP of that game. Oh, he yeah. Was on fire. He, he was the MVP without question. White Iverson definitely puts that work in, and he, he reps that Iverson name pretty well. He's not disrespecting the legend by any means. LSK, Chris London pulling up from the logo. Couldn't get it to oh, go. Oh, alley-oop. There it is. White Iverson finds Chris Staples. More than a dunker, but also a dunker as well. And he shows it right there. Now High the, flyer. The energy I just love from Chris Staples is the fact that he just caught a oop. Highlight play, but the first thing he did was communicate with his teammate to let him know to get in a better position. That's the leadership you're looking for for this team. And this is why I picked them to win this game. Maxwell Pierce draws the foul, gets to the lane. That's needed because uh, team aces on a 6-0 run here. So Maxwell Pierce, smart player, knows to uh, draw the contact, try to stop this run before it gets out of control, and he's going to the line for two. Yes, sir. My dog Max pulling up from the free throw line. Misses the first one. Maxwell Pierce, another former uh, Harlem Globetrotter, yes, six sir. foot two, high flyer. This guy, he can dunk it, he can punch it. Let's see if he can hit free throws too. I've seen this man make some of the craziest dunks. He has this one dunk where he did a 360 while he was holding a baseball mitt. Like he caught a baseball and did a 360 at the same time. Don't know how he did it, but once again, he's a Harlem Globetrotter. They do all the impossible. That's right. Well, he gets one of two free throws. Two might have been impossible, but he got one of the two. To go and White Iverson a little shake and bake, oh, but another block. block by LSK right there. That's his second. Sell on the fast break, little reach in. The clock is ticking, even on these fouls. You notice there, 11 minutes left here in this game. It's just 15 minute running clock because we're playing a whole tournament. We got to fit in more games, the basketball action, and then we got a full night of summer league action that's going to follow this. Now, I don't know. On a, on a, on a previous possession, I'm not the, the smartest tool in the box, but if I see a guy like LSK who's seven feet tall, probably yeah. not officially, but he looks like it, I'm not trying to shoot over him. <laughs> I'm going to try to get as much space as I possibly can. Big three from Cell. Marcellus Howard gets it to go in a needed bucket there. It's now eight to six. Let's see if Team Aces can respond. Chris Staples running the point. Finds Trey Uno. I'd like to see him get involved. He's a baller as well. He can hoop. It's a little stagnant on offense. But this guy can create his own shot anytime. White Iverson. Oh, oh what's that? And up and down? Yep, there's a travel call. That's a turnover. And 
team undrafted has a chance here to tie it up or potentially even take the lead as we approach the 10 minute mark. Okay, we have Max bringing the ball down court. Cam Wilder has Trey Uno on him, sizing him up a little bit, takes him to the right. A little bit of contact, uh, but he misses. I like the attempt though. Show that aggressiveness. Shows that Cam isn't scared. That's right. Yeah, he's he's being very aggressive out there. Tough matchup, him and uh, Trey Uno, two of the best athletes on the floor going head to head. We have Jason in the game now, a.k.a. Wavy, number 12. Another Globetrotter. Woo, we've got like an unofficial Harlem Globetrotter game going down right there. And LSK is in the books. Chris London gets the turnaround to go. We are tied up at eight with nine and a half to play. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people don't know about that little bit of advantage that Team, uh, that team Aces has, uh, matter of fact. Or is that undrafted? I'm not sure. I lost. <laughs> but the fact that uh, Max Pierce and Jason, a.k.a. Wavy, both are Globetrotters, so they played before. So that chemistry is already intact. So if they're either on the court at the same time, who knows what could happen. That's true. And Bree Green as well, another Globetrotter. Like I'm saying, this is like a Harlem <laughs> Globetrotter game is broken out here. Globetrotters versus the world. Pretty much. But uh, they're not going up against the Washington Generals tonight because this team can ball team aces. Ooh, Trey Uno can't get it to go. We're tied up here still at eight as Marcellus Howard – AKA Spencer Dinwiddie's twin bringing the Oh. Sell oh. Oh. gets it to go. That's a little 5 0 run from Sell. Uh, they don't call him the backyard legend for a reason. That was definitely a backyard play. Why oh. Iverson? Why Iverson? Right back, and the ace is back in the lead. A three for White Iverson. Somebody has to check him. You have to put your best defender on White Iverson. Good pass by Wavy. Oh, and a good take. Good bucket by LSK. A strong take by LSK. That gave me uh, very much Rudy Gobert vibes. Give me the ball down low. Let me just hover over people. I, I can see that. I can see <laughs> that. I feel that. Uh -oh. oh, my. Yeah. Uh oh, that's what I'm talking Iverson's about. Iverson's feeling it. If he gets going, look out. That's two in a row from deep for White Iverson. Like I told you guys during All Star break, he's not just wearing that three because of Iverson. He's wearing it because he's really a three point shooter. Oh, Staples has the clear path. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. Good defense by LSK protecting the rim. Chris Staples thought he should have gotten a foul. Call. Oh, that could. Cam Wilder all the way to the rim for the bucket. And we are tied up at 14 now. It's a close game. I, I did, I, like you, Gowie, I had my, uh, my money on Team Aces coming into this one, but. All these teams can play. We got a lot of hoopers out there. I think almost everyone that's on the court played some college basketball at various levels. A nice steal. Oh, oh LSK on the fast break. The fast break. What's he gonna do? Oh, oh that's gonna haunt his dreams. He right smoked there. the layup. Ooh, can't get it to go. Man, he had it. He was thinking about what dunk he wanted to do, what move he was going to make. <laughs> and we're definitely not going to let him forget about that, nor will his fans. It's already trending on social media. See? LSK stands for lay up, stop, or kick. That's your, that's your three <laughs> options. You stop on the fast break, you lay it up, or you kick it. Well, he somehow didn't really <laughs> kick it out of bounds on that one. <laughs> all right. 14 all, just six Ooh. and a half minutes to go. Running clock. This game is moving. Cam Wilder for three, can't get the bucket to go. Chris London. It's, it's, a, lot, it's a lot of slappage going they're on They're letting them there. play, but these guys, you can tell, they're going all out. They want to win this thing. No one is letting up. This is not an all-star game out here. They are playing like this is game seven right now. Uh-oh. The ISO. Ooh, ooh. ISO, obviously. Oh, pass. good pass to the Randall twin. Oh, oh and he does That's a good it. bucket. That's a good Way bucket, Jake. Go. Jake Randall gets it to go. Gets them in the lead. Oh, great defense by Chris Staples. Ah, but he caught him with a foul. Foul is called. Cam Wilder is going to the line. If he hits both these, we are tied up. And the clock ticks even on these free throws. Again, running clock, so we're at 5 minutes and 30 seconds. But even these substitutions, as they take time, the clock does not stop. It's funny that they go by the team name uh, Team Undrafted because they're definitely playing like they've been here before. <laughs> That's right. 
NBA Summer League. For those of you who've never been before, uh, you got to come. If you're a basketball fan, this is just like a basketball convention, a basketball fan's dream come true, really. Every current player, former player, creator, broadcaster, GM, uh, scout, everyone in the basketball world who shares this common love of the game, they all come together in a really relaxed setting. Las Vegas, it's fun, and I'm excited. This is a great way to kick off this year's Summer League with this really cool creator tournament. Yeah, most definitely. And I think what I love about this influencer thing is that you're taking all these different creators from different life's different states and just bringing them all together into one spot so when you're seeing these guys play ball on tiktok and they're in their respective homes now they're amongst each other playing on the biggest court at the biggest level like this is the nba regardless if this is influence or not this is nba basketball so mm -hmm. this is a beautiful thing uh, cam wilder's getting a lot of uh, attempts a lot of field goals but he hasn't been able to find the basket in the last few there you got to let sell eat feed sell wow Ooh, that's a Great block oh, by Trey Uno. That was. He went up and got that. Chris Staples with some momentum. Oh, wow. And you see uh -oh. Chris London's going to have to come back in to protect the rim. He's about to check back in. we got a four-point lead for the Aces, 19-15 right now. Cam Wilder, I told you, he's getting attempts. Ooh, hard I think, take. I think Chris Staples has definitely unlocked his more than a dunker bag. That's right. Oh, big steal there by Marcellus Howard and a needed bucket, keeping it within two as we're under four minutes to play here in game one. Oh. Maxwell Pierce, full court pass to Cam Wilder for his 50th attempt of the game. <laughs> I was just 